welcome to himachal pradesh this is our special edition of power circuit this is episode number 1 this we are in the beautiful hills and mountains of solan driving all the way up to shimla and if you remember the last time around we were doing a power circuit i had promised that we are going to come back to the himachal despite the fact that aman was little reluctant there's no apple over here but we are in apple state so what are the issues in himachal that elections apple that is apple, apple is a big issue as we'll discuss what are the big issues of himachal elections both the parties have declared their manifestos 24 hours of each other uh, basically i think five issues pallavi which have emerged in a way way the biggest issue i think is the uh, which we have spoken to a few uh, people here and women speaking about the 1500 rupees promised by congress per month to every woman aged between 18 and 60 years of age that is a big promise that's because women power matters and it's not just about himachal pradesh you know that that's something which we always discuss right I mean, every political party particularly bjp and congress have come to realize that a woman ma votes matter and therefore and it's interestingly because priyanka gandhi vadra has been campaigning her extensively i think it's an extension of her ladki hu lad sakti hu campaign the bjp would call it revadi politics in a way that you know you again what pm modi has been referring to his in his speeches that these are revadi politics giving uh, people money like that I think the other point is definitely because this state is also a state where there is a high number of government employees. Yeah. So the old pension scheme, which is being promised by the Congress, there's a lot of buzz about that because that gives more in the hands of the retiring employee. Uh, BJP is not countering that effectively. I feel BJP is saying that you no, know, only we can do it if we want to do it from the center. No, and in fact, Priya Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his speech in Solan has said that don't believe such promises of the Congress because they have not delivered in the past. So in a way, also questioning the credibility of these promises. Yeah, me. and double engine ki sarkar is also the pitch which is being given by the BJP, of course, that, you know, what we promised at the center, we also give at the state. So it pays to have the same party in power in both the areas. And incidentally, we are also in Solon. Solon is, of course, known for its tomatoes. It's known for its mushrooms, hmm. apples, which are missing. I, I <laughs> forgot to buy it. But there are other key issues that we were talking about. Apple is a big issue, for example. To take the cue, the apple is a big the issue. What manifestos talk about? So basically, I think the Apple industry has been a bit dissatisfied with the BJP here. BJP has tried to make those amends, but I think what Congress manifesto has said, fixing a minimum support price for the Apple yes. and even barring private parties from buying Apple below that price. So, you know, that is a very significant point. I think BJP has tried to counter it today in their manifesto, the promising that a GST will be uh, capped to 12%. But I think Apple and the other issue, uh, Pallavi, I think Agni which is an X factor, I think, I think and, in this and, election. And in Kangra and all these areas, there are lots of forgies, of course, and families of forgies. So that is sending someone to the forces, armed forces, is something which is very emotive factor in Himachal, in Uttarakhand, yeah. the Pahari states. Absolutely. And you know, people also... But isn't feel... the BJP a little rattled about that? I mean, it was a, it's something on which they can't even go back on now. Well, it's the first election, you know, after the Agni Viri controversy had erupted, government had tried to put those fears to rest. I think, but you know, in this kind of a... A state Himachal where a you know, lot of soldier families are there, this issue will be tested. I think there's nothing more than an electoral test for such issues. So though the government may have been able to convince larger, and we have close to 50 lakh people have applied under the Agnipat scheme, large number of people also from Himachal Pradesh. But I think let's see what the electoral uh, factor in this is. Also, I think the major factor which is also emerging, what the PM uh, uh, spoke, referred to yesterday, but I think Mr. J.P. Nadda has clearly put it out, the, the, the Hindutva pitch, bringing the uniform civil code, in Himachal, which they have, uh, BJP has already promised in two other poll bound states, Uttarakhand earlier and Gujarat now. And second is a review of all the work properties in Himachal and studying if there are illegalities involved. How do you think, Pallavi, Congress is counter, 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 because of course it's Dev Bhumi at the end of the day. They also promising so a big Pradesh package. Himachal called Dev Bhumi and therefore over here Devi Ma matters a lot, Ma Shakti matters a lot. Interestingly, Mr. J.P. Navata talked about the fact he calls it the Shakti scheme, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Shakti scheme. And also how it's going to be a part of the entire tourist uh, circuit. You know, as someone who was observing the politics was saying that even if the Congress party comes to power over here, you know, it cannot contradict this particular pitch. They'll have to pitch the Hindu to a pitch. In fact, this is something hmm. which we spoke about also the last time around when yeah. we were doing a power circuit from Noida about how many Congress leaders say that let's not make it Congress versus the Prime Minister because his image of Hindutva is so powerful that you know it'll be it'll it'll not work. Rather, you pitch on the Chief Minister, the focus on that we are going to give an alternative to Jairam Thakur. Interesting, there's another important point which you made as you were driving down here from Delhi is the holdings and the posters which Aman has clicked on his phone and which we have captured is all about the Prime Minister, a, a decided strategy of the Congress? Clearly, uh, clearly. See, fighting this election on the face of Narendra Modi, I think a very clear strategy. Obviously, there's anti-incumbency in Himachal, there's a cyclic nature of politics and you know when BJP's, uh, that whole line is there, the rivas badalna hai. Mm. So in a way, there is some anti-incumbency against the Chief Minister, there is some 
we'll we will go more to people and speak to people about that but i think pm's picture being on top of all the posters of the bjp very clearly the message is that the bjp wants to make it more about pm modi's face while the congress is attacking more the chief minister calling it his failure so enough of gyan from us we'll but now I go to the that himachal mein people are angry not so much not at all in fact with the prime minister but with jairam thakur there's a little bit of anger both within the bjp Uh, somewhat in the bjp in the state unit so in a way uh, yeah because bjp did not change him you know yeah, bjp, BJP has changed cms change. in uttarakhand and gujarat but bjp did not change jairam yeah. thakur so people in a way may be appreciative of pm but a bit skeptical about the cm now how yeah. that factor will play out in the politics of himachal it's cold and nice in himachal in the hills behind, is behind cold, us as we thought <laughs> but the political but less pollution political temperature yeah, pollution is very much lesser than delhi <laughs> the political temperature in shimla and in himachal is definitely rising enough of gyan from us now we'll go to some people let's see what the people on the ground say about this election what are the real issues that matter to them we are here in kandaghat driving all the way to shimla and speaking to a few residents here in kandaghat who were just with a game of cards has just finished for love here to so speaking to a few himachalis on what they think and which way they will vote election ka kya lag raha hai aapko kis taraf election ja raha hai himachal mein himachal mein congress ka ja raha hai कांग्रेस का ऐसा क्यों है सब क्योंकि इन्होंने काम नहीं किया हमारी पेंसिले भी रोकी हुई है हिमाचल प्रदेश में एक देवभूमि है यहाँ पर लोग जो हैं बोल रहे वाले लेकिन सरकार ने काम भी किए हैं लेकिन जो पेंशनर है हिमाचल प्रदेश के कर्मचारी है और जो रिटायर्ड पेंशनर है वो ही सरकार को बदल सकते किसान का भी एक ही मूड है जी कि पार्टी विश पे ही चलेंगे जहाँ कोई कांग्रेस के लिए जैसे दे रहे हैं बीजेपी ने तो आपको पता है कि पहले क्या किया है और अब क्या कर रही है वादे ही करते हैं बाकी कुछ निभाते तो है नहीं कोई हम लोगों तो महंगाई से इश्यूज हैं बाकी तो कुछ नहीं है बाकी तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है वैसे तो बीजेपी ने लेडीज के लिए काफी कुछ किया है देखते हैं आने वाली सरकार क्या करती है सो ड्राइविंग ऑल द वे टू शिमला वी कम ऑलमोस्ट टू शिमला एंड स्पेशल Himachali apples from Kinnor. 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 So we are going to have them also. So Pallavi, we spoke to a range of people while coming here, to women, to shopkeepers, to government pensioners. What do we pick? When we pick, it's a mixed bag. I mean, I found a lot of women, as we were talking about, not so unhappy with the government. And uh, I mean, of course, they all wanted jobs. They're obviously, also talking about inflation, rising prices, and also kind of disenchantment, really. I mean, because many of them across the board. Seem to be talking about the fact that politicians make promises during elections, and then after that, they forget everything. But the mix that we spoke about, and we've got you all those voices, are people who want, you know, jobs, better infrastructure, education facilities, health. Some also talk about free medicine, so on and so forth. So it's going to be a close fight. It seems like a close fight. Yeah. It seems like a close fight because the I think the issues, Pallavi, are very, very in a way polarizing. So if you speak to government employees, you know, they seem to be enamored by the Congress promise of the old pension scheme promised by Priyanka Gandhi. They also seem enamored. The women seem enamored a bit by the 1500 rupees per month promise of the Congress, but still, I think sticking with the BJP because of the welfare schemes, they some do complain about inflation and the rising prices. So will it be the women who again stick with the BJP and, and the it? apple growers? That's a very very important issue also over here, which is why both the parties in the manifesto mention it. The BJP talks about uh, GST slash. the congress party says that the farmers will decide who they want to send it to msp will, msp for apple msp for apple so clearly i think government employees going towards the congress women in a way i think still sticking with the bjp to some extent but some may go to the congress with like 1500 rupees per month is a big promise and i think the decider may in the end may well be you know what the youth feels what the youth thinks that's for another second edition of power circuit which will do on the youth specifically but i think speaking to whatever people we have spoken today a close fight is there in himachal so please watch out for the election on december 8th and the uh, november 8th and the results come next month i think himachal may be a much much more interesting fight yes and uh, at the fag end of our first edition of himachal edition of power circuit we managed to have these apples thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for watching us